everybody. So today I'm going to check out Bourbon Barrel Aged Orange, Van Orange Vanilla Expedition Stout from Bell's. I don't know if it's the label or the bottle, but it's got a cool like bump in here. But there's the can. So I did the cinnamon a couple weeks ago. The can, the bottle. I did the cinnamon a couple weeks ago. I'm I I used to be, but it's driving me crazy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. There's, what happened to the bottle? Um, I don't know. It's like dipped in. Um, anyway, so before Bell sold, I was on a email list. And every so often, they would send us an email to answer questions. And I, I'm i pretty sure one of them was about maybe barrel-aged beers. Like, what would you want to see? And like, one was Earl Grey tea. And I'm like, no. Um, and I can't remember what I put on there. But it seems like... That one, at least, was for these. Because we've had, as far as I know, as I've reviewed, there's been the cinnamon and now this one, the orange vanilla. And I don't know if there there had been or if there's going to be any more. But it seems like that was for barrel-aged beers. And I think I, I put down one of them was a chocolate cherry. Um, so I don't know if we'll see that. But I remember there were like four. And one was that Earl Grey tea. And I was like, no, get that out of here. Um, I don't remember what the other ones were, but I remember putting down now that cherry chocolate. So I, I think it's cool. I, I love when they do stuff like this. Take the base and let's go crazy. Do like 50 of them. Let's see which one's the best. Chocolate mint. Let's see a chocolate mint one. I'm pretty sure I put that because chocolate mint's my favorite. Um, this one. So, uh, shelf life is unlimited, 13.3%. I think that's same as the cinnamon uh, version. Um, I'm guessing this was bottled on 322.24, so not even two months old. And I don't know if they had a four-pack. Don't know how much this... I might have a four-pack of this. Uh, Jessica stopped by there one day and picked up. I can't remember if she got a four-pack of this one or of the cinnamon one. So I have it around here, no clue how much it is. But let's go ahead and pour this. I was trying to see because sometimes, actually, it might be on my side. I'm just going to pour this whole thing in there. There you go. But, yeah, it's like a cool, I want to take the sticker off because the bottle's dented. I mean, you can hear it popping. Um, That's only Dragon's Monk. Yeah, I guess it's not back here. It must be over there of which one I got. But I think now, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I got a four pack. Jessica picked me up a four pack of this. So I have three left. Um, I've done two other beer reviews. Uh, so it's going to be up to you how warm you want this. Uh, I pulled this out of the fridge um, when I did the other ones. And then I did two other ones. So probably 10 minutes a piece, maybe a little bit longer. So 20 to 25 minutes out of the fridge this has been sitting if you would like it warmer hey that's on you um i i drink my coffee cold i would rather have these cold but uh if you're not following the channel if you could hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up hit the bell new videos out every day but i have a friend that came over at halloween and i've said this before um He's like, oh, black note's good. And I was like, well, I've got a whole case of vanilla bean. No, yeah, black note. And he said, let's open one. I'm like, well, it's just in the basement. Yep, that's how I drink them. So we cracked that open and shared that. So, yeah, everybody's different. But back to this one. I wouldn't say this is black. I would say dark brown, like a dirty, muddy brown. I'll put the the uh the light up to it but looking at it with these two lights i dirty brown yeah 
of course you're gonna see black um yeah let's put the light doesn't really matter no but our I want to know if you if you have these I don't know if this yeah you can't see through that thing um I want to know uh if you buy black note it could be any like barrel aged beer um that comes in a bottle do you drink it out of the bottle or do you pour it in a glass like if you're by yourself do you pour it in a glass uh if you're by yourself do you pour it or just keep it in the bottle if you're sharing it with friends out and about i'm guessing you're drinking this more on a colder day than a hot day like here in uh lower michigan i think it was 82 83 i'm sure i'm still sweating i just got done with baseball um, but, um, yeah, how do you drink these? So on the front of this, I didn't say this, uh, Russian Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels with orange and vanilla. I am a big orange vanilla fan, so this could differ from what you think, but let's go ahead and smell. I often wonder when they make... That year's Expedition Stout. Do they just make all of it at once? Then say, okay, some cinnamon in these 10 barrels. Some vanilla and orange in these barrels. Or do they make different batches? Because if I remember correctly, the cinnamon didn't have like that young barrel bourbon smell. This does. Like, that alcoholic bourbon oak really sticks out in this one. Like, it's a month or two old, in my opinion. For what barrel? Uh, yeah, that's about all I smell. Now, I, I do get the, the, the light Tootsie Roll, that chocolate, maybe a little bit of coffee. But for the most part, that bourbon oaky alcohol is what sticks out pretty much the whole entire thing. I mean, I could say vanilla from the bourbon, but from what I'm looking for when you say orange vanilla... I'm having a real hard time finding that. Maybe a touch of sweetness, like vanilla chocolate in there. But I, first thing I would say is oak. Wet oak is what I get. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and taste. It's got like that acidic, almost, uh, uh, those, and I think, I'm pretty sure they still sell them, those chocolate covered oranges, like if they make a dark chocolate version, like bitter chocolate, oaky tannin, sweet burnt coffee vanilla. I'm never going to be able to say that again. That's exactly what I get. I think that bitter chocolate comes out the most. So like I was saying, if, if they made those, those orange things in the box, that like a chocolate covered orange, I don't know what they're called. Cause I think they have a raspberry or something version now. Um, if they made a dark chocolate where you're kind of getting that like acidic citrus in there, if they did that in dark chocolate, that's what this is. Like the taste from regular Expedition style or even barrel aged, um, in the taste I can I can tell. There's citrus, like acidic citrus in there, but dark, bitter chocolate, like really bitter chocolate, um, oaky tannins. There, there's a little bit of sweetness in there. 
And I don't know if that's from the bourbon or if it's like maybe under attenuated. It didn't attenuate all the way. Because I almost want to say the cinnamon version was also 13.3. So something like that. Like, like the aftertaste is more of a sweeter chocolate, like a milk chocolate. But that bitterness really stands out. Like rind, say orange rind. Yeah, up front, mid palate, I would say that's where that vanilla is the most. And then I would say from an orange vanilla, it kind of really falls off. It goes back to that almost young wet barrel barrel aged beer like very wet tannin orange tannin orange oaky tannin since it's like in the middle because I do get some of that orange and maybe it does carry over so instead of like a cherry wood you had an orange wood something like a citrus wood something like that because then it becomes yeah bitter in the back so it's almost like you start off with that orange vanilla sweetness that you would get and then that orange kind of melds into that oak and then that like a standard barrel aged beer kind of takes over. Kind of smooth. I'll give it that. Um, definitely not what I was expecting. Like I said, uh, I, I don't know. It just says orange. So I don't know if that means if they're using like slices of orange, whole orange, um, natural flavor orange. Uh, after making our year long uh, stop in a bourbon barrel, we've added a little something. But it doesn't. Yeah, it's almost like that's the generic thing. Yeah. Rich notes brought in those barrels enjoy the flavor journey so i don't know what they used for the orange maybe untapped will tell us uh i would go four out of five i it's definitely drinkable maybe with time that oaky tannin barrel will kind of go down because <clears throat> like i said in a lot of videos, if you've watched them, I've got bourbon on both sides. I've got whiskey. If I want that pr profile, I'll drink that. I still want this to be a beer. I understand the barrel age. Sure, let's do it all day. But when that's the main thing that comes out, I would rather just drink straight bourbon. Uh, so yeah, four out of five. Let's go ahead and check on taps. None of my friends have checked it in. 121 people have. 3.89. Uh, chocolate, rich, bourbon, orange, citrus. I didn't say rich. I don't think it's rich in any way. But I would say I hit the other ones pretty well. I would definitely put oak. Take rich out and put oak. Let's see if anybody said anything... Strong but high flavor. I don't understand that. Bitter, acidic, like I said, yeah. Um, really, nobody else says anything? Yeah. So, yeah, it is what it is. If, if, if you're a Bells fan, Expedition fan, and I would say definitely worth picking at least one up. Uh, go to the general store, you can buy one. Because I don't think they take, this is outside the general store, I don't believe. Uh, but yeah, just pick up one. If you enjoyed this review, check out some more over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And I'll see you in the next one.